But there was a, some point in time where Donovan had to say, this is what a fuck I am. No matter how I got here, no matter what, if I want this, I'm going to have to do some things. I'm going to have to improve my diet, yes. do some resistance yes. training, uh, do some cardiovascular. I'm going to have to do all these things and I'm going to have to be consistent. It's going to have to be a lifestyle change. The manosphere is growing and we're going from beginners. Red pill is becoming a concept that's not a new concept, that's not a novice concept. And we are going in from the beginner to the intermediate to the advanced levels. And a lot of the guys watch you, they've been watching you for a while. We know what we're talking about. They're not beginners. You know, it's like having to re-explain hypergamy all over. Right. Virtual signaling, having to explain shit tests. Just because your ass walked into the movie right now does not mean, you know, you walked in on episode two or episode three. We've already been down this path. You know the dressing is important. The, the real question is why, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm just on one because I know no, I that going, the I'm not- are, 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 tend to be, I mean, I'm like, you're not, they don't look like, if you can't look like a fucking milk dud and tell me what the fuck to do about yeah. This guy has something like 1,200 videos. I don't know how many subscribers he's got, but he has videos. Cynthia G has 54,000 subs. She yeah. on YouTube did that two days ago, 148 views. Look how long the video though was, though. Yeah, dude, he was on the air for three hours, man. Yeah, and, I, and I tried to listen to him. I, I, I study YouTube. Flex, not to, This guy... Real brother destroys Candace Owens. Oh, he's one of those fake pro black. No, what what he really? Oh, we we had a term for guys like this when we came up. Look, guys, there's rank, and sometimes you're a loser. You want to not be a loser? You know, he be better served instead of trying to tell everybody what's going to get your ass in the gym, lose some weight, learn how to actually get your social skills, get your EQ up, and learn how to get along with people. See, again, I don't know guys who are not successful in their chosen field who, who are always so confrontational. Like when people call into the brother pill and try to troll you. Yeah, but you're fucking Devin every night. And like you you call them out. Look, you're mad because you want to fuck me or you want to be like me. And that's the truth. Right. You call in because you would fuck a dude like Donovan. Donovan's just not fucking you. I can be real. Uh, cause I'm not, because now we're getting more mature. I'm in a place to where I know men understand what I'm saying. The thing is what really bothers guys the most here is how much of a priority should it be? And is it going to be, is it going to be something that's going to be a, a, an obsession? Guys don't want to go fucking shopping for purses and socks and shoes. You would rather be sitting around watching the ball game, talking about stats. This is not something guys want to do. So if you can make it simple and effective, why would a why would a smart, logical, red pill, loving man not do it if it's going to increase his outcomes? Bother me, right. I'm a cancer survivor. I right. was in the gym four hours a day, four days a week. The first time I actually put on some real muscle and I had some pecs and some traps and triceps, yeah. I, I experienced something I had never experienced before in my life. Women drooling over me when I took my shirt off yeah. because I actually had a chest, and I was like, God damn. You don't think that was motivation to go in there and pump more weight? You got damn right because it's hardwired into it. Dude, disdain the things you cannot have. One of the thir- law number 36 of the 48 laws of power. Disdain the things you cannot have. Colloquially, we call it sour grapes. Why do most guys don't worry about their image? Because they don't know how to fucking do it. That's ways to say it's not important. It, well, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't look any better. So it's not important. Fuck you. Yeah, it is. There is no downside to a man being the best version of himself for himself. Yes. And see, that's where this guy, this is where a lot of guys get twisted. And I really feel like it's because I've been through red pill rage. Oh, God. Okay. With the, the, when you're raging, you, 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 you're not clear, but when you can get out of red pill rage and you can accept, you can accept the world for what it is, then you are a hell of a lot more level head to say, you know what? There is an advantage for me getting in the gym, putting on some functional muscle, being an athlete for life, for my life. I don't have to be a professional bodybuilder, but I do need to have some strength because, hey, I like to be able to do stuff and it does look better. I like it. You right. you asked me about 
a, a, a leather jacket and I showed you the leather jacket that I knew would resonate with Donovan. That would make, and that's hard to do because Donovan is a simple minimalist guy. But when I work with somebody, you guys see me in the happy go lucky videos, but when I work with you, I'm a coach. Right. And one of the first things I tell my guys is we got to get brutally honest about who you are, where you are, and then where you want to get to. Right. Understand how long that, how far that is, and then put the work in. There you go. No different than you go back and see the 312, 20 pound Donovan Sharp. 12, versus, man. Good memory. Versus, versus the Adonis he is now. That was a fucking chasm between there and here. But there was a, some point in time where Donovan had to say, This is what a fuck I am. No matter how I got here, no matter what, if I want this, I'm going to have to do some things. I'm going to have to improve my diet, drink some water, yes. do some resistance training, uh, do some cardiovascular. I'm going to have to do all these things and I'm going to have to be consistent. It's going to have to be a lifestyle change yes. because even if I get it, I have to maintain it. So what has to happen? I have to find something that's going to work. Donovan had to find something that's going to work in Donovan's life, but then dropping all that weight. Your knees aren't as jacked up. Your back is, and you don't have to worry about all these other things that internally or externally. Now, the side benefit is just love it. Right. Dude, dudes admire it, but he did it for him. So you cannot tell me that if you're sitting out there and you're 300 some odd pounds, you wouldn't want to have the result Donovan had. But are you ready to do the goddamn work? See, that work is harder than the work I'm talking about right now. Right. Let me tell you something. Every guy can simply be sexier just like that in two seconds. By Boom. spraying yep. on a goddamn right. cologne. That's it. A woman's nose, you don't need to know why. Stop asking why. Right. That, that's the number one question. <laughs> Stop asking why and just do what the teacher tells you. When that's I right. was in Kung Fu, Daniel's son, karate kid, wax on, wax off, sand the floor. Don't ask why you sand the floor. Go, go fucking wax the cars. If I tell you to wear a cologne, because it, be, I need to know why. Do you right. believe I know what I'm talking about? Then if I do, go do what I say. Go do what I say and then go see the results for yourself. Because there was no argument that you can make to me that you can't see for yourself after 30 days of wearing a cologne consistently. Think back to when you were... A, a, a tot. When you were in your teens or your twenties, okay, we grew up in a time to where men who were older than us who had lived through some stuff, we gave them at least the benefit of doubt and respect for saying, you know what, they know some shit. Right. This generation doesn't. They think because th this is one of the beauties and curses of the internet because so many youngsters, twenties and you know millennials, yeah. were put into the boardrooms and on the into companies because a lot of the people didn't grow up with computers and technology, you've thrust a lot of men into positions to where their word actually matters. You're telling a, a dude is saying, I could be you. Fucker, you got 20 plus years in this. <laughs> Application. Right. This right. And see, this is what a lot, I said it laughingly. And this is one of the things I love that I know. I can fight. I can fight very well. I used right. to be a bouncer. I used to fight full contact. I love the taste of my own blood. A lot of these dudes just need a fucking ass whooping. <laughs> I agree, man. Because I to agree. sit around and talk and say, well, you don't know something. There is a pecking order. There is a pecking order with men. We keep score by pussy and money. That's right. It Power is, it, in its simplest form is the ability to influence people, and we need image and access. And guys who are warriors, veterans, generals, you don't have any 20 year old generals in the military. Oh, no, hell no. You can't Why? be the president of the United States unless you're at least 35 years old. Why? You can't you can't get out there. You're telling me to do these maneuvers. That... Why? Well, because they have the experience, the wisdom. I'll I'll say this and I'll leave. The movie, the the movie colors. Ah. There's a son bull and a father bull sitting right. on the hill looking over a field of cows. Father Bull says, all those cows down there are ours. The son says, Dad, let's run down and fuck one of them. Father says, no, son, let's walk down. Come on. You youngsters need to understand something. 40 years old is the dopest age for yes, a man. Sir. I'm telling you. You can still bang you know, 18, 19, 20-year-olds if, if you want to, and you, can, and you get the respect of the world because you finally get to the point to where you know who you are and you accept it. 
You can do this. You can't do that. And it's okay. Your dick is X long. It's okay. Right. You, you, you speak. The, it's okay. But you are good in your lane. I, if you can tell me a hundred percent to anyone who wants to detract from what Donovan says or anybody that you are good in your lane, I'm going to call you on your bullshit because if you really, really are good in your lane, you're not detracting, you're not here. So what you find is so many younger guys, they're not necessarily as jealous as they're really trying to almost seek male approval. Yeah. Uh, It's like, you know, it's like um, when you, when you, when you, Around so many women, you're raised by your mom, you go to school and your teacher's a female. The the place you really first encounter men is if you play sports or in the real world. So you learn how to deal with women, you know, that jealousy thing, which is much more of a matriarchal trait. Someone said that in the chat room. You get on the panel with men and you're basically trying to say, I don't listen to what they saying. What I'm listening, I'm a man too. I'm a man too. I'm a man too. That's what I hear. I never, I'm a man too. I'm like, yeah, you're 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 a male, but you're not a man yet. Wow. See? And 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 I, I that's why I I'm not as hard on millennials as I was because I I have empathy. I coach millennials uh, in corporate image consulting. A lot of companies are sending their employees back to learn soft skills because so many of the millennial employees are great on paper, but their social skills, in particular, men are having a tremendous problem integrating into the work world. You need to think of game like Batman and a utility belt. You want to be able to pull it all out. Right. Use what you want. That's the problem. Guys are looking for a silver bullet, an easy path, a quick fix. So it's like, well, if I go get what alpha male strategies gives me, well, yeah, but is that a complete art? Like a martial art? Like I'm, I'm a martial artist. I do a complete style and it takes nine years to get a black belt. You can get a black belt in Taekwondo in under 18 months, 24 months, wow. but there, but it doesn't use as merely any, as many weapons. It's not a grappling style. It's an art of kicking and punching. The end of the day is, are you trying to actually become a better man for life? Or are you just trying to get a quick fix? And so many guys get found out they're trying to get a quick fix. Get thousands of hours of content not found anywhere on patreon.com slash Donovan Sharp. Link in description.